Hi, so at the beginning of this video it doesn't start like my everyday caravan video because I usually start with me in front of the caravan with a whole speech but um, it doesn't start like that this time because well I forgot to record myself in front of the caravan with a speech and um, well I'm currently in bed so I'm not gonna get up and go do that. Um, but otherwise, this video, uh, it was pretty exciting for me because, as you know, if you've been watching, then, uh, recently it's just been a lot of demolition and that can take a bit of a toll on you, um, because you're not seeing any progress, really, but I actually started building and repairing things and buying exciting things to go inside of the caravan and so it, it definitely helped and I'm really looking forward to it all now what more so and yeah anyways I'm gonna stop talking and I just really hope that um, you enjoy this video so that's all I have to say <laughs> I'm on my way to get some supplies. So, hello. Uh, today, um, I plan on doing more of the beams and stuff. Well, no. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do the beams today. Today, the main agenda is siliconing. But, I'm waiting for the sun to come out a bit more just to dry the roof. Just so that it's safe for siliconing. But while I do that, I'm going to sand the skylight. The plastic under the skylight a little bit. Because I want to paint it because it's really disgusting so I'm going to paint it white eventually so I'm going to sand it a little bit so that's what I'm doing right now um I'm aware of this big smudge under my eye we can ignore it <laughs> um I don't know if this is going to work this is the same paint I used on the roof and some of it dribbled onto this plastic under the skylight and it stuck fine, so I figured maybe I could just use the paint to paint the whole thing. But I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, I have low expectations. It looks a bit um, ugly at the moment. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. It, it looks pretty gnarly. We'll see. It's shining through the light in you. It shines so true. The light in you. Okay, so 
here's how it's looking. I will say it looks better on camera than it does in real life. Uh, it looks pretty uh, rough in real life. <laughs> also, yes, I'm aware I could have taped that, but am I really going to do that? So, yeah. I painted it, we'll see if it will actually work and if it will dry well, but that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to move on to doing something else now. <laughs> see me but I've done all the siliconing there will be more siliconing need to be done in the future but for now I've done all the siliconing that needs to be done now um I've just gone around all of the edges of the caravan but there will be more that needs to be done um I guess I could start working on the beams I don't see why I'm not I'll probably do that um, I'm really curious about the skylight. I wonder whether or not it's actually going to work and dry. But we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that, obviously. But I'm going to tidy up a bit and then I might start working on the beams. We'll see. So I know that when wood is bad, a way that you can test whether or not it's really bad is poke it with something. I don't really have uh, anything cool to poke the wood with, so I'm going to drill. I'm going to drill and whether or not the screw stays in, then I will leave the wood. But if it doesn't stay in, or most of the wood I can just tell is bad, then I'll take out the wood and I will replace it. Otherwise, if the drill, st if the screw stays in, the wood looks okay, I'll leave it. That's what I'm gonna do. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet, they settle down beneath my feet. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I just drilled into a couple of the beams. Pretty much all of them are fine, which is nice. And like, don't worry, I'm not just drilling into sand bits. It's it's all safe. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, I am going to be doing the ceiling. So the ceiling beams are fine, but in order to be able to put uh wood along it, I need to put wood in between them. Does that make any sense? You'll see what I'm doing in a moment. 
Good morning. I don't know if you can see me. Oh yeah, you can see me. Good morning. Um, it's a new day. It's the next day. And I'm going to continue working on the caravan. One thing, the reason why I'm up a little bit earlier this morning, me and dad left because um, basically I found a guy that had wood for free. It was like, you know, wood for taking and stuff like that and there were some pallets so we went there and we got some pallets so that's pretty nice um otherwise i wouldn't be up at this time in the morning i'd still be in bed but yeah anyways i'm gonna continue working on the beams i'm looking forward to getting a bit warmer it's still a little bit of a chilly morning but yeah i'm just gonna go continue <laughs>
been away for a bit, uh, like off camera that is, um, trying to do that. So attaching wood at a slant is not easy. Um, I think that's obvious though, but originally I thought it was going to be more of a curve there. I thought maybe I would put wood going along in the middle and then have it sort of curve. Hi Ozzy, can you see Ozzy over there? Hi. Well, that was fascinating. Okay, what I was gonna say, originally I thought that I was gonna have a curve there, because the wall curves, and I thought that I would try to keep the curve, but I do not have enough wood for that at all. I don't think I have enough wood anyway um, for what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have enough wood. <laughs> but, anyways, I ended up just doing it slanted and I got rid of the curve. So there'll be wood going along that and there'll be no curve. I really hope I'm making sense, but yeah. If you've actually made it this far into the video, I uh, thank you for that. But um, it's me again, it's Eddie King coming here again, and I'm just wanting to say that um, it's just kind of explaining a little bit what's going on here. I know the people who would were drilled in, so um, that's what, currently what I'm doing. And drilling in wood at this plant is not easy at all. I really had to improvise, and if people saw how I drilled it in, I think they would. Um, Cringe. They'd probably be disappointed in me, but there's no other way to drill in wood at an angle. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. Just thought I'd explain that. And, um, yeah. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay. Waking up to another for that I just sort of got really bad at picking up the camera and filming but I think I think I'm gonna call it done with the the under the window over there this is what I've done it does look a bit different to what it was before the black thing isn't drilled in yet that I do need to drill in but the spaces in between the beams are quite big I'm aware of that, but I think I'm just going to wing it and go with it. I don't think I'm going to bother putting in any more beams, but yeah, that's that. And then I did the whole ceiling today. I did just do that with Ozzy. This one was pretty rotten and I'll probably have to replace the ones underneath as well. But that has been replaced because it was pretty bad because it uh, used to leak from there down. So. Those ones are uh, not in great condition, but otherwise, I've been pretty lucky with the beams that have been in here. The ones that have been the worst are just the ones under the windows. These ones are actually generally like, they're alright, they're not as bad as those ones, but I will still need to replace them probably. So, yeah. Otherwise, pretty happy with it. I'm actually building, you guys, like, I'm not just taking stuff apart. Um. Anyways, I'm going to drill in the little black sheet, I'm going to drill in the little black sheet and then maybe start taking apart that, the uh, other side, otherwise, um, I don't think I'm going to do that much more today, I don't even know what the time is, but it's getting late, 
So, yeah. Do a couple more things and then probably tidy up. So, yeah. Okay. I feel like there's quite a lot of noises going on right now, but it's the next day. The weather lately has been just be beautiful. This is, I would love this weather forever. Probably not forever, but for the majority in my life. Where it's like nice and like cool in the morning and then it gets warmer throughout the day. I love this weather so much. But anyways, I'm gonna continue working on the caravan. So yeah. I'm about to do something pretty big right now that I think some people might be a little bit triggered by. No, 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 no. Go, 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 fish, fish, and fish. I don't know if this is actually going to cut through this. Oh my god. This is going. The giant rainbow mess is gone. Before some of you start going in the comments section and being worried about what I just did, don't worry because I know what those lights, those wires went to. I have already cut all the lights, pretty much all the lights, away from any of the electricity and all those wires went to the lights so there's no point in having a giant bundle of wires in here that lead to nothing um so i got rid of them so i don't have a giant mess here there's still quite a lot of wires going on that i don't understand but i'm glad that it's gone because i don't need them i know i don't need them they just go to the lights so it's okay it's okay okay here's what's up Dad went shopping, I asked if he could get me some white spray paint because this paint that I put on here is not working. It did dry but it just like scrapes off really easily. So I asked if he could get me some spray paint and that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to spray it. Paint off of the skylight. 
great. I don't know. Okay, hi. Um, so, let's start from the beginning. Um, I haven't recorded quite a couple things. Sorry about that. Um, I did quite a bit of work and I didn't record it, so I'm going to show you what I did. So, I'm going to show you what I did. <laughs> also, it's such a nice day today. Oh once again, we are inside! Okay, <clears throat> I did that. But on the other side, there's this. Someone yelling outside. Anyways, I kind of already fixed that side. Um, so I kind of finished doing all the beams. Okay, but if I seriously get into more detail, there are a couple things I'm going to do before we can take the next step, which will be electricity. Before I take the next step, I'm going to obviously tidy all the stuff in here, because there is stuff absolutely everywhere. And I'm going to check everything is A-OK -okay for the next step. I'm going to check that I've done everything that needs to be repaired, that everything is decent, and sturdy and good. The plan of electricity is I'm going to be waiting for the electrician. The electrician is coming over on the 29th and that is the day that he's going to pick up uh, a baking order that he's asked of me and um, so yeah I'm baking him some stuff he's going to come pick it up on the 29th and he said that he should be able to have time to have a look in here so that's good. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to tidy everything up, make sure everything's okay. Um, I kind of drew a line on the walls, you can see here. This is about how high the bed's going to be, and then the kitchen counter will be about up to there. I also forgot, I just realised, to show you the skylight. I did end up finishing it, it's pretty rough. I had to scrape off so much paint and stuff, but whatever. So it's looking pretty rough, but I'm just, I, I'm fine, it's fine. There it is. Especially over here, if you look real close, it's like lots of little flakes in it. But anyways, it's fine, I don't really mind. Um, and I did do one more thing, oh my god, I'm so awful. Um, the front window was sealed shut with a disgusting looking yellow hold on I'm trying to get the tripod out the front win window was sealed with a disgusting yellow silicone it was horrible it was splattered all over the window and I hated it but the window was sealed shut I think because the hinge that's sort of making the window be able to be opened and closed thing that's making the window being able to be opened and closed, I think it broke. I'm not 100% sure, but I decided I'm not going to mess with it. Fine, the window won't be openable, it will just have to be... It will, ju it will just be a closed window. It's a shame, but whatever. I don't want to mess with it too much and make it even worse. But I took off all of the disgusting yellow silicone and put in... Like, it's not clean, I'm not very good at doing silicone, but... I put in a black one and it looks so much better. Like, I made it a little bit neater, I re-siliconed it all. So much better. Really glad I did that. Anyways, um, that's pretty much all. I'm gonna do a couple little tidying up here and there. And then I'm just gonna have to wait for the electrician. Now it's just gonna be a waiting game. But yeah. So yeah, that is the end guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope to see you next time. I'm currently waking, waiting in the car I've said it many times and I really be. 
Ozzy? Ozzy? Uh, can you Where help me with the something? There's a glove down there somewhere. That one right there. Settled down yeah, can you pass me it? Thank you. I've got it right yeah. and I've got it wrong. I never know what to say. I'm never, I learned I'm never my prepared. Lesson, and I don't know what to say, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Come sit here with me by the fire. Where do I even begin? I let it go for a little while. Okay. So be the Okay. So be Hi. Hold on. We got nothing to be scared. 